Hi, I thought I would do a reading today from the Animal Tarot Cards deck by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. Um, I think it might have been the last deck that they did together as a team. Um, and the card focuses on animals, as the title of the deck suggests. Um, so each card is, is a different animal. Um, and some animals are repeated but with different breeds like the cats and the dogs. So I will um, pull a card and I want the focus to be um, how can I get myself unstuck. So if you're having a difficult day or a difficult week or a difficult month or even a difficult year, um, I'm going to do a reading on like how, how you can unstick yourself and get past this energy block because when we're stuck it's an energetically block it's because we're we're circling an emotion that that we're not moving through that we're not dealing with so if we're kind of like stuck and we're feeling a bit down or a bit depressed or just like moody angry um, tearful um, really sensitive, um, maybe we're just exhausted and we've, you know, we've got no energy to like do anything, we don't even want to leave the house. Um, these things can be because like something that we need to release is still stuck inside. Um, you know, some event that we haven't processed, some trauma that we haven't released. Um, so I thought I'd do a reading to give us a little insight into what it might be that you need to heal in order to unstick yourself. I'm just going to start by shuffling this deck. And I'm going to connect to the cars. I'm going to shuffle the cards and see what comes up. So the first card that we have is the world and the world keeps coming up again and again in my readings at the moment um, so it's definitely a really relevant card um, definitely a card which kind of this this card this this card is in the position of the past, yeah. So this this card is basically this is what we've been going through. This is where we've been, um, and it's where we're now kind of like moving away from and behind. So um, the card says, um, "Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered." with grace and courage. Um, and, and the world, for me, in the traditional um, Rider Waite deck, um, makes me think of a mirror. And the woman inside the, the garland, yeah, that I, I see her as me, or as you, when you're standing in front of a mirror and she is like the reflection, the idealized self reflected back. It's, it's the, the you who has achieved everything, the you who has become everything you wanted to be. 
um, the you who who is not dragging a cartload of stuff behind them um, that they are yet to heal and release. So that's kind of like that's how we see that card. And then the interpretation of it is a little bit different depending on the energy of the reading and the other cards in play. Um, but but it's it's generally it's a positive card, but it's also um, a card to say it's like stop and reflect and look. And so this card here is saying, and first of all, like we have a picture of um, a yeah a Shetland sheepdog. So we have a picture of a Shetland dog on here. Um, and he or she is sitting on a pedestal on a plinth with like you know this kind of like a garland around them so it's like a celebration it's like they've won a race they worked really really hard to get where they are and maybe what they wanted was you know a family and a happy home and security and love or maybe what they wanted was to you know be really well accomplished to to you know be a performing dog um, in dog shows and to win lots of rosettes or to be a working dog and to you know go out and help help a farmer um, with on the land um, but whatever it was that they kind of like set their heart to they, they have they have achieved this they have accomplished this so it's basically saying like you know you had you set yourself tasks you had uh, certain ambitions certain goals and you have achieved them um, but maybe, maybe you're not seeing that, maybe you're not feeling it, maybe you're not fully allowing that into your life, it's like, you know, you have actually succeeded, you've done great things, um, and maybe you feel like perhaps that, that you've lost connection to that, um, or you, you've, you've lost that maybe that's this is what you had and you no longer have it and so you feel stuck because you want it back you want that feeling but you no longer have it so maybe you had past success past achievement past connection path path community a sense of belonging and now you don't have it so you you were sitting on a kind of like a pedestal of life and now you feel like you've fallen off that pedestal and you're not quite sure where you're at the next card that we have is the two of winter and this is where we are right now so the energy of winter is the swords energy so it's kind of like a, a thinking overthinking energy in this sense um, the two is like two two can either be a really great number or it can be an awkward number like two is company so that's great there's kind of like balance and unity there um, but two is also two is also two decisions two choices two options and that can sometimes block us because we don't know which path to take we don't know which decision we are supposed to make um, and the card says procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. Um, so I think you're contemplating something. You're contemplating a, a move towards something else. Something that you believe to be new and beautiful and desirable something that you feel will fill your life with joy and happiness and union and connection something that will enable you to feel more hopeful and more joyful um, and to to have faith that everything will be okay again there's this something that that you like your heart desires something and yet you're worried to commit to it. You're not quite sure if it's the right choice because maybe maybe the timing's not quite right and you think mm, maybe it's a little bit too soon and maybe I should wait until the timing is better. Um, for example, um, and then use this as a kind of like a metaphor to um, attach to other things. So if it's, for example, if you were wanting to have a baby um, and you, you, 
you kind of like because of um I don't know things that have happened recently in your life you feel like oh, you really need a baby because you need you need to take care of that beautiful new life you need to you need to feel like you know you've brought a miracle into the world and raising that little child um, and taking care of them will give you a sense of purpose and direction and will help you to feel like you are doing something good in the world because you are like kind of like carrying on um, you know a new generation of, of, of humanity um, and yet you're not quite sure if the timing's right because you know maybe you don't have a, um, a, a secure enough income or you know maybe you're in the middle of like wanting to move house and it's like is the timing right maybe you have an elderly parent that you're having to take care of um, you know maybe you haven't really been in your current relationship for long enough or maybe it's not like the most harmonious relationship so something something is blocking you from committing to to create to creating and birthing this new thing in your life this new vision this new venture this new journey um you know bringing bringing life into the space with it within which you reside something is blocking you from that and so you're torn between doing what your heart wants and doing what your brain wants um and you're not quite sure what to trust and this card is kind of saying you know trust your intuition trust your heart that that is the right way to to journey through your life right now yeah it's not always the right thing to do to trust our heart sometimes our heart can get us into trouble because we need to think things through clearly as well but this card is saying like you know trust trust your heart not your head um, and follow follow your inner guidance um, because it is steering you in the right direction and it is your ego that is getting in the way so connect to your intuition connect to your heart and let your intuition guide you so you know whatever you're feeling in your gut yeah like that's what you need to focus on that will give you the answer and you will get an instant response so if you if you for example when you meet someone new you're like is this person good for me or not is this person right for me or not do i want to be friends with this person do i want to hang out with this person do i want to work for this person do i want to date this person like regardless of what they look like and whether you're attracted to them on the outside or not regardless of what they're saying and whether you're attracted to what they're saying and you really really want it you will get a feeling deep inside that will tell you whether this person is is good for you or not whether this person is going to hold your needs and and your boundaries and your energy in a sacred space you know some people some people kind of like just use us up yeah they're like they see us they like us and they just want to like kind of like reach in and grab us and and use us all up and then throw us aside um, so you want to make sure that you know whatever you're kind of like leaning into that 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 person or that thing or that individual that object that whatever is isn't going to suck you dry there's something that's going to fill you up and boost you and give you energy um, and then the last card is moving towards the future and we have the emperor and um, sorry, the, the card that we had before was the little Dachshund dog. So little sausage dogs. And then this one is the deer mouse. And this is the emperor. So the emperor is a very creative card. The emperor is a card about making things happen. And emperor is, is very powerful um, an emperor has a lot of respect from people an emperor is considered regal really kind of like you know he's, he's, he's almost like an archetype an emperor you know um, a bit like you know like a king or a queen it's like these these doesn't really matter who the person is the actual title has an energy to it um, has a meaning to it that that speaks more loudly than anything else and the person behind it then has to 
has to figure out how they live within the space of that role and how they want to kind of like you know move it either a little bit this way or a little bit that way in order to to, to personalize it and to best serve so in this card um this little dormouse is busy collecting things um, he's collecting nuts, he's collecting berries, he's collecting buttons. Um, it's almost like he's, he's getting ready, he's very organized, he's preparing for, for what's coming. Um, and he's, he's being really sensible about it, really mindful about it. Um, and so I guess like, you know, if we're paying attention to what we're deciding here, yeah, what we're wanting to birth and create, if we're paying attention to our intuition and we kind of go with that, so we're kind of like going, okay, logic out the window, we're gonna pay attention to our intuition. If we're paying attention to our intuition, this card is then like the reset button. So this card is kind of saying, now, now you've like kind of followed your your heart and your 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 gut your intuition now is the time to kind of like okay hunker down and be sensible how can you then practically make this worth and work in your life what do you need to do in order to to best take care of it so if it's a child going back to that example before if it's a child that you want to have and you've decided yep my intuition is telling me that I you know I, I, I want I'm gonna have this child I want to have this child and I want to have this child now no matter what then it's like okay so get organized get prepared what can you do to plan for this child you know do you need to perhaps um, take take on another job so that you can have you know put some savings aside because children are expensive and especially when you have a baby in the beginning it's like you know you need to you need to buy a lot of stuff in order to to take care of and accommodate a baby in those first few years particularly um so maybe that's part of your organization maybe part of your organization is you know um buying all of the bits and pieces that you need in order to support that child or reaching out to your friends or family and just saying who has stuff that they could lend to you that you could borrow um, and you know just being really practical about the things that you need in order to achieve that goal and that dream um, the card says structure and organization are important right now don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer so take on a leadership role in your own life work out what you need to do in order to achieve your goal um, your desired outcome and and trust trust not just your intuition but moving forwards into the future trust your leadership skills to sort shit out in your own life yeah don't don't be afraid to take control don't think oh i have to kind of like pass the responsibility and the labor over to somebody else because i don't trust myself um i need to kind of like get help get a mentor or get um you know employ someone or or whatever like think first no i can do a certain amount of this stuff myself on my own i don't necessarily need somebody else so you have more faith in yourself um but really like the two the two things that are keeping you blocked that the reading is is telling us is that basically um like not letting go of the past is blocking you looking back over the past and seeing it as this beautiful perfect world yeah even if it wasn't really like it wasn't really perfect at the time we can look back and we can romanticize and we can go oh wish I could just travel back to that time again when you know I was x years old when I was with that person or living in that country or in that house when I had these people around me when I had this kind of a life when I was in that kind of a job you know we can look back and we can think things were better then things were easier then and I wish I could just go back and redo it um, and not not mess it up in the same way that I have or you know make different decisions um, be more confident be more empowered you know we we can we can look back and and romanticize the past and and get trapped there and live too much there get stuck there and not move forwards so you know in terms of like the baby metaphor that i've been using perhaps perhaps you know we 
we were trying for a baby then and we had a miscarriage early on and and that's kind of like stopped us and blocked us and then we don't know how to move forward from that or maybe one of our friends you know ha had a baby in the past and it, it totally changed their life but in a way that they were just really not happy with and and they were like they, they you know they got really bad um, postnatal depression and they wish they'd never had that baby and it kind of like seeing them go through that when you were really wanting to have a baby kind of like traumatized you in a, in a way and in a way that you weren't necessarily aware of and so it stopped you and every time you think about having a baby you're like but will I be like that? And the longer you leave it, the more anxious and worried you are. You're like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Maybe I'll get overwhelmed. Maybe I'll, you know, fall apart and get depressed and not be able to cope. Um, so the reading is kind of saying whatever it is that you are looking back on and romanticizing in any kind of way or wishing, oh, I wish I could go back to then because then I didn't have these mental blocks and I didn't have this knowledge and I didn't have this bad experience that's kind of like stuck it's time to kind of like let that go it's the past it's over and done with it's been lived and it's gone you can't ever get it back you can't recreate it you can only move forward so whatever it was that you had back then that you loved and you lost it's gone and it's okay to look back on it and think about it fondly but to pine after it and to get pulled down by it because you only want that and you don't want anything else moving forwards is blocking you like if you if you have a pet and you love that pet dearly and they were like a member of the family to you they were like your child and then you lost them and they passed on and you're dwelling in the past and you're wishing them back and you don't know how to carry on without them and you're so, so, so sad. And you want to move forward and you want to get another baby, but you're not sure if that will be really, really upsetting, really emotional. You're not sure if you'll be able to love that new baby because it's not your old baby. So all you want is your old baby back and you're thinking, can I move forwards? And if I do, maybe I can find a, a new baby that looks exactly like my old baby. So maybe I can just pretend my old baby's not gone and maybe I'll be lucky enough that they have a similar personality and I could perhaps even, you know, call them the similar name or the same name. I could pretend that it didn't happen. That can be trapping you and blocking you in the past because that's not really the healthiest way to move forwards. The healthiest way to move forwards is to accept your loss, to, to grieve your loss and to let it go and to move on and then when you are fully ready to move forwards and that doesn't necessarily mean that a huge amount of time has to pass it just means when you know in your heart that that moving forwards is the right thing to do for whatever reason when 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 you're there then you move forwards and you embrace that that energy that we have in the card in the present with the you of winter and the duction ducks she's basically saying it's time to make a decision so ask yourself what is it that you really need right now do you need to stop and be still and be alone and and and, and be in your own orbit and energy um, and sit where you are and do the healing and the contemplation there do the do the letting go of the past. Um, maybe there's more work that you need to do there. Maybe the timing's not right to birth this new thing. Or maybe you are ready and your intuition is telling you, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. Like they're not me, but I know that for me, I know deep inside this is what's right. If that's what you are um, receiving, if that's what you are feeling, then sorry my phone keeps slipping down if that's if that's the message that you are you are receiving then trust yourself yeah i think this reading is really saying like stop stop blocking yourself and stop wishing things were different and you were different yeah stop wishing you were in a different time love yourself and accept yourself and embrace yourself 
where you are exactly as you are, warts and all. And then make a decision as what is best for you now, for the who you are now, not anyone else in your life and not the you in the past, but the you right now in this moment in time, what is best for you. Trust that and follow that and then move forwards into the energy of the emperor, which is like prepare for it, plan for it, make it happen, be a leader. You know, really embrace this thing if you're ready. And if you're if you're not, if you're if you're not, then that's okay. But it's, this is the energy of like moving forwards when you decide to move forwards. It's like be organized, be practical about whatever decision you make be a leader, whether it's like just being an advocate for yourself and self-care, or whether it's being an advocate for birthing something new, a business, a relationship. Um, just be organized about it, think about it, don't be scattered. Um, so I hope that that was useful to you and interesting i hope you like those cards i really do like these cards um and they're just fun to 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 use um and they have happy kind of uplifting messages um which is quite different from the right away which can be a bit dark sometimes so um i hope that was helpful to you i hope you feel a little less stuck now or you feel like you've got some tips as to how to unstick yourself and move forwards um and um yeah if you like this video please do like it wherever you are viewing it from um subscribe to my channel or my blog um or my page depending on where you are viewing this from um, and if you'd like to know more about me um, or more about what I do or more about tarot in general then visit my website lemonrosepetals.com and you can find out lots more there and I will see you next time.